Hey guys, I'm Sharon from Scar Studios. So today's video is the part three video of our character design for beginners tutorial series, and uh, we'll be modeling the ear of our character in this video. And you guys can check the part one and the part two videos in my channel, and I've created a playlist. So let's. So we're starting with where we left off in the previous video. Uh, I'm going to hide our face and create a new plane with Control Shift and create a plane. Rotate it in the X axis with R X and add a loop cut. Control R and delete the two vertices in the side and add a mirror modifier and then i'm going to select the four vertices and move it because i can move it because i haven't enabled clipping and move it and place it on top of, of our reference and start adjusting it and i'm going to look at it look at our reference from the side as well i'm going to place it on top of the ear from the side and now I'm going to select the two verses in the corner and place it on top of our reference from the sides and from the front and expect rotate and then extrude again with E and R rotate and scale it down and then move it from the side view as well and rotate and E to extrude again take those vertices and E to extrude again E to extrude again E to extrude again and Select those two vertices and I'm gonna add another loop cut on top. Move it, place it. I'm gonna look at it from all the angles and now I'm gonna select the back of I'm gonna select the back face. I'm gonna select the whole object and extrude it back with E. And then I'm going to uh, face select mode with number three uh, and delete the faces with X. Now I'm going to create chords from our faces. I'm just going to finish the uh, back faces first because I felt like the topology isn't what I actually wanted. So I'm going to add the subdivision surface modifier with by control 2 and now extrude it back with E and E again and scale it down at shades mode. And now I'm going to finish the faces like I did previously. F F so we have the shape of our ear now. Now it's just dragging and pushing and pulling vertices to get the shape that we want. So now I'm tapping out of edit mode and I'm going to unhide the face and select the ear and the head second and press Ctrl J to join the two objects together. And now I'm going to bridge the edges of the face and the ear I'm going to loop select with alt and left click the ear the head the loop in the ear and the loop in the head with alt left click and then press F3 and type bridge edge loops and then you can get this and for some reason doesn't seem to be working because we don't we don't 
have the balanced edges the, the edges aren't balanced so I'm going to have to do it manually so I'm gonna at this point I'm trying to figure out what I can do for some reason I can't bridge it to um, where I usually how I wish you should do so So when I was doing this, uh, so when I was trying to bridge the edge loops, I realized that the normals of the ear was turned around. So I had to delete the face I just created and flip the normals of the ear. So I'm going to delete the faces that I just created and select the whole ear with L and Control N and press flip normals. And now you guys can see it bridged perfectly. So I just played with the settings a bit but I think it's better to just leave the settings as it is. Now I'm just going to delete the triangles we've just created and make them all chords. So I'm going to delete them and merge them and delete them. So you, I've, I've to told you guys how to do this in my previous tutorial. So if you guys are following along, you guys can know it's just selecting the vertices and dissolving with X. and. I'm going to dissolve all the triangles we have created and make them all chords. And then again push and pull vertices until we have a smooth mesh. Now I'm going to sculpt mode. I'm going, I'm going to use the flattened brush and the smooth brush to smooth those hard edges in the ear. So I'm going to delete those vertices which I feel like are not doing a lot of good. So I'm going back to sculpt mode and smoothing everything out. Wherever I see a triangle, I dissolve those vertices and make them a cut. Now I'm just dragging and uh, dragging, pushing and pulling vertices just so that I can get the best shape. So, so that's it guys with the ear i hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, we'll be modeling the teeth of the character in the next tutorial so hope you guys will uh, like it and uh, yeah so i'll catch you guys in the next one see you and i'm also doing an animation loop video in my next tutorial i've already made it and i'll be uploading it tomorrow so uh, subscribe to get that as well see you in the next one